So you've been running the Air Raid Madden 23. You're hitting them short. Now you've hit them long. You want to call something different to attack the middle of the field. So what play is that? Well, luckily, that's what we're going over today. We are going over the shallow cross concept that met in Madden 23 at a 2x2 two two set. And I'm going to show you how to read it so you are dominating your opponent and making them throw the sticks. You ready? Let's start. That we are going to go over is going to be this H shallow cross. And we're going to run this the old school way of what Mouse Davis says against cover three. So what I like to do with this is I like to bump the running back over because here's the progression. It's more, it's Hurts, and then it's Connor. And here's the awesome thing. Remember in stick and corner, we're reading the man over Hurts, right? We're still reading that guy. If he drops back, we, drop the, we throw the uh, drag. If he sits there, we throw the dig. If we're ever confused, we find the back. So read the guy over Ertz. If he drops, throw the drag. If he if he sits up and takes away the drag, then you throw the dig. If you're ever confused, find the running back. So what's he doing? He's dropping a little bit. I should have thrown it a little bit faster. You want to throw it faster when you see that. Let's do it again. All right. Just get it there. Remember, we want to get the ball to fast guys in space quickly. So there's no one there. I see. What did I do wrong? And this is this is why I say if you're a football coach, you should have your players play Madden. I, just, I locked in. Even when I just said the progression, I locked in on that guy. And I shouldn't have thrown it. I should have thrown the drag. If I mean, I know football. And if I'm making this mistake in a video game, you don't think the kid's going to make it in a real game? So we're reading the guy over Ertz. What's he do? He drops. I throw. That's five yards. Move the chains over and over and over again. All right, one more time. He drops, I throw. Get the yards over and over and over again. That is what you're needing to do over and over. So now let's look at it against cover two. Eight shallow cross, cover two, random. All right, Mike, when play calling, do you match concepts by down and distance, i.e. quick game and short yardage? And drop back in longer yard, or do you run them anytime? Anytime. And this is what I think about it. I use it, the wing T philosophy of who stopped the play before. What's a play that attacks that person that stopped? For instance, let's say you're playing against a user that's a safety, and he keeps running in over and over again, taking that short yard yardage. Oh, oh perfect example right here. Cover two. All right. Let's say that safety over Ertz takes away the dig. Well, then... When I come up and call this play again, what player takes advantage of that safety? It's Brown running the post over top of it. So that's my thought process. I'm going to keep everything going over and over and over again, but who takes away the core concept? And then there's a play on top of that that attacks it. I hope that made sense. So again, in this play, I like to motion him over. I'm looking at the guy that's over Hurts. If he drops, I throw the drag. If he sits on the drag, I throw the dig. If I'm confused, I throw the Connor. So he's dropping, I throw it. I should have waited, held it a little bit, but that's the concept. Let's, let's do it again. I didn't motion him over, but I like it. Now look at this. I don't know if you saw this. And this is my thought process when I'm playing the game. All right, I'm still reading this guy. This is the guy I'm reading. Whoever's the dig, he sits right there. And he collisions, but he backs up. But I want you to notice this. What happened? Well, the safety is opening up to the middle, to the left of the hash. He's over here. Where's the grass area? Right here. So when I make this play call again, which I run this play about 20 to 25% of the time, this is my base play in the air raid, I'm going to be like, okay, I may need to have to alert it and just chunk it up there. And saying this is in the uh, spread flex. So let's do it again. I'm going to see if I can't throw that post route. So there's a post. It was there. It was a bad throw. I should have back shouldered it a little bit, but it was there. We're going to run the motion them over. 
Reading the guy over Hertz. He's dropping. I drop it off there. That's five or six yards. No player in Madden, just like no player in real life or coach in real life, is going to let you get that over and over and over again. Maybe a drive. Maybe the first drive of the first quarter or the third quarter, letting you get it, you know, filling you out, playing that game. But after that, they're, they're not going to do it. They're going to try to take something away. And that's how you have to have the concepts. Stop falling in love with these ebooks that promise you money plays and everything like that. Because one, that takes the joy out of the game. Yes, I know that this isn't like the perfect game, but it doesn't matter. It's the closest thing to real football you and I have. I mean, we're not going to be in the NFL. So you need to know the concepts. You need to know the plays. You need to know what's designed. And Madden, for all of its flaws, is trying to give you real concepts. So one more time. He's dropping. I'm throwing. Now, if you get it out there, you get it out there to your speedy guy, and you go. One more time. Flip it over. I hate when I accidentally do that. I'm thinking drag. Dip up. Did you see that? I And this is kind of difficult, and it's difficult to teach your kids, too, if you're a coach. But you want to kind of see through things. So I'm looking... He's dropping. He's outside. So he's dropping. It's I could drop it off on the drag. I'm not sure. Notice, everything is hemmed up in this example. He's got the drag. His eyes are on the drag. The dig is covered. They've got the running back. So, what do you do? It's, uh, it's really simple. Just like in real football, Madden people cannot defend everything. That's why they try to get the glitches and the nanos and the money plays and all of that stuff, and they only have one defense or whatever. They want to get pressure. So if they got you in the short yardage, and this is a perfect example of why I love the air raid and the concept where you have to flip it. See, everyone thinks the air raid, you're trying to take deep shots every single play. That's not the the case. The air raids is you want completions, you want to get the ball out quick, the fast guys that can run. So we're hitting them underneath, hitting them underneath, hitting them underneath. What happens? You're exactly right, Jake. Every Hopkins is wide open, and so is Brown on the post. So your choice right there. And what I was doing is I'm looking, I have the idea, but I'm not going to pull the trigger yet, but everything's hemmed up. I can't throw this. Unless I, I hate this wide receiver, I'm, you can't even see. I'm not throwing this right here unless you hate the wide receiver because that's decapitated. I've got two guys right here, three actually, taking the dig. And I've got a corner sitting right there. But they don't have anybody deep. So that means we can throw deep. And I just decided to throw the, uh, the post. That's the beautiful thing about this. All right? Now, let's go against cover one. Same con- The same rules. Now, here's the thing. In this play, when you get blitz or you get cover one, your thought process right away is either going to be the drag or the back because you don't have that much time to go through your progressions. You want to get the ball out fast. Drag to back. Drag to back. Up oh, there's the back right there. And this, this is a good thing because just like in real life, they get confused. Think about it. He is matched up here. Who's got the running back? This guy right here. But when you drag somebody, you get confused. Someone is now in your area, and you have someone wide open. That's simple. Look at that. Kyler's got 412 yards. Whooping ass. So again, bump them over. Notice the adjustment they make. I'm thinking drag to back. Drag to back. Sometimes you can throw the dig if you have enough time. But over and over again, drag to back, drag to back, drag to back. Ryan, concepts over money plays. That's a gym coach. It's the truth. And that's where you get fun. You know concepts. Drag to back. Drag. Just put it out there. Even if it's just a little bit. Even if it's just a little bit. You want them to keep coming up. Keep coming up. One more time. Drag to back. Or if you want, you can go back to drag. Back to drag. And then sometimes, you know, just I just threw it. I just threw it. You could rush out of there. One more time. 
And then if you notice that you have the progression or you're not that in a hurry, go through your progression. Drag to back. If you got if you got a guy. All right, let's go to blitz. Here we go. Same concept. Move it over, drag to back. Who's got the back? Who's got the drag? There it is. Just get what you can. I promise you, if you get these if you get the reads quick, fast, 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 they're not people are going to get pissed off playing against you. Because one, you're not going to give them time to set up their intricate uh, passing or defense that, you know, you've got to have 12 th- hands on or 12 fingers on every hand. And two, you're getting the ball out fast. And y'all know this. When you play against people that do all these intricate defenses that they see on Madden or they buy the ebook or they do all the money plays and everything like that and they don't give enough time to set it up, you're going to piss them off. And the best thing to do is play against the guy who's very emotional. So there we go. We switch it. Get it off there. Just get the ball out. Just get the ball out. That's all you need to do against a blitz. Everybody forgets about the running back when they blitz because they don't. They think you're going to keep the back in, and you're not. Get the ball out. Get the ball out. All right. So that is the shallow. Hey, if you love this video and you want to learn more about the air raid, you're going to love this one right here.